Well, I mean, he is captain of the knights, but you know. Hmm. I'm glad that Commandant Alexei turned out to be so reasonable. Yeah, I thought he'd be more of a stubborn jerk himself. <laughs> Have you met him before, Yuri? I knew him, but I doubt he knew me. I was barely in the knights for any time at all, really. What sort of person? You do see him in the movie, actually. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now this is also a skippable uh, side mission that we're going to be doing. Well, I mean, like, it, it's really easy to miss this one, actually. But, um, uh, yeah, this is, um, Estelle's teacher. Um, um, uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, his name is Drake Dropwart. <laughs> Drake Dropwart. That's the stupidest name I've ever heard. Oh, it's four kids writing your names, dude. The Nighty Nightly Patriot. Drake Dropwart. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, well, like I said, Estelle's teacher. It was amazing. I got to see everything. I saw the ocean. I saw some trees. I I had a I was able to write a fan fiction about me and another girl. I mean, um, what is LeBlanc doing here? And um, if you do not activate this, um. This uh, scene right here, you probably will be able to do the other ones later on in the game. I think I also remember where all the other ones are, too. Wow. <laughs> Cock blocked so hard right there. <laughs> oh man, that's also good. I think Rhea's starting to change, guys. Hopefully for the better. Mmm, <laughs> yes. Okay, um, I think there's also another optional cutscene we can see here. Yes, it is. You can also come back here at a certain point for a slightly different, um, uh, you know, slightly different, um, scene, but, um, the dialogue is slightly different. Well, a certain person has to join um, the team too. <laughs> really? Well, um, yeah. Ah. More like snooping if you catch my draft. Do you tell go to Cup with Noir? Oh, okay. Well, I mean, there's also like a. It also links to another uh, side mission. Well, I mean, y you get a recipe from it, but I won't save it just yet. <laughs> Rita's angry as usual. Oh, uh, uh, sure. Honestly, that girl. Huh? Estelle. She rushes off regardless of danger. She doesn't listen when you tell her to stop. So Esteliz has finally become Estelle, huh? I I've been calling her that for a while. What's with you anyway? Hey, you know, your tone of voice was different just then. Maybe it's just my imagination. You're damn right it is. Ah, there's the Rita we all know and love. 
Oh, once again, she's so cute when she's angry. <laughs> uh, but, um, you might be wondering why am I going the opposite direction? Well, actually, there's also another optional cutscene I want to unlock, too. Shoot. Oh, man. oh we get to kill more useless enemies again! Okay, well, as I was saying, I'm gonna get another cut optional cutscene. Oh. Once again, I could be using holy bottles, but I always choose not to. Okay. Okay, just a little further. I see it. I see it. I see it. And now it's finally in my reach. Okay. So you just need to come back to Karabakram and go to, I believe it's the left. Mm -hmm. Hit him, thank you. Oh my freaking god, dude. Yeah, see? This guy again. Someone's here. Traces left behind by the floor there. Where is it flowing? That monster sucked all of it up. Monster? Yeah, that big, rough, spiky, huge monster! So, he was here after all. He? You mean the monster? Monster. It matters not what humans call him, but such a name does them a disservice. So, that wasn't a monster? Just what makes something a monster anyway? We call any creature that viciously attacks humans a monster. So that would mean that thing's a monster, right? <laughs> huh. But the kid just gave us the human point of view. You mean we just lump them all together as monsters, but there might be more to it? What do you think that guy was up to? We met him earlier at Dayton Hole, didn't we, Yuri? I can't figure him out. Well, whatever. He's got nothing to do with us anymore. Actually, he does, but I'm not going to say it. Yeah, I guess. God, all of you just jinx yourself on purpose, don't you? Uh, well, I will probably meet you back at Heliord, so I'll see you then. I feel like an easy win. Don't oh, don't get careless, even though these enemies I've beaten like 600 times already. Okay, finally back in Heliord. Oh my effing god, dude. Oh, yay. I think there's also two things we're missing too. I try to remember another optional cutscene you can get too. What? I thought it was over here. Hmm. Hmm, maybe it's early on. Hmm. But um essentially you can find the Wonder Reporter here again. I think you uh, maybe it's because like you have to be like Yuri by himself. Uh, when you first get here, you can come here and see the Wonder Reporter again. You don't gain anything out of it, but it's just something to know. Okay, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of crap before we even head out. Um, uh, nope, nothing. Oh, Ooh, hydronomics. Hell yeah. Sure, and... oh. Uh, I think I'd rather have that anyways. <laughs> okay. Wow. I actually did not get was able to synthesize a lot from that. Wow. <laughs> okay, hang on, we gotta do this first. Yep. Okay. I just need just one of each, that's all, really. Yeah, magic music off that. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, okay. That should be it. I mean, aside from that, there's also one more thing we have to do here. So notice how it didn't play the um, resting sound effect, actually? There's actually, um, yeah. This is a, um, it, it, it's just a little... Thing to uh, just a little character moment, I guess you can say. 
I believe this is titled the Laborer uh, side mission. It's just a bunch of scenes. You're not really missing much, really. But you know, it's just you get a better insight on the characters. And it also reinforces the, um, how people view each other, you know, yeah. It is kind of sad how society is in, you know, in real life and even in video games. I forget when the, um, the next time you actually come here for the next part of Laborer, but um, we'll have to see it another time. Hopefully it'll be pretty soon. Actually, I don't even know when. <laughs> I actually don't remember when. Okay. Well, we're done pretty much here in Heliord for now, so let's head over to Dongress. I think that, I think personally, Dongress is my favorite of the towns, actually. I think it's because of the music. The music's pretty good, and like, um, oh shoot, there's the minions right there. But unfortunately, they're actually all old enemies, so um, yeah, I'm going to cut the video out right now. We finished them off. Once again, I finished them off, but you know, oh, that's getting kind of old now, isn't it? Oh, hang on, I actually need to check my weapons really quickly. Okay. Which one is it? Yeah, that's one. Spells good. Hero, got to change yours. Good, and... Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> Repeat needs EXP share because he's not going to be used for the rest of the game. Sad but true. Put out your hand. Like this? Yay! What, what was that? I feel power running all through my body. Oh, two and focus in the battle once again. <laughs> uh, but then again, it is kind of getting a little old now. The whole, like, I feel power running all through my body. Ah, yeah. Yeah, I think I've already lost my touch with that, that phrase already. Okay, well, this is Dongrid right up here. And then up to the west a little bit more, it's where Cape Mock is. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. LOL, no. I love this music. Bam, 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 bam. And you know, even though I would say something bad, I actually really like this place. I wouldn't mind living here. Looks like a pretty lively place. Well, it's the second largest city after the Imperial Capital. It's run entirely by the guilds. I thought it'd be more dark and dank, you know? Like a den of villains. King of Thieves. Oh, a den of kingdom. I don't remember. I'm sure the bad reputation of the Blood Alliance is to blame for that. Yeah. Jeez, Yuri, you make it sound like I'm Because he is a villain. If you're a villain, what does that make him? Point taken. So, how should we go about tracking down Bottles? The best way is probably to stop by the Union and check there. The Union. A guild collective run by the five so-called master guilds, right? Yeah. The Union also serves as the city's government. Whoopee. But how is this gonna work? Isn't Barbos's Blood Alliance one of the five master guilds? Which means if we lay a hand on him, we'll be picking a fight with the Union as well. Let's bring him on! We won't know the answer to that until we ask the Dawn. The Dawn is the boss of the Union, isn't he? Yep. Dawn Whitehorse, leader of Altos, the most powerful of the five master guilds. He's actually legit. <laughs> Let's go see what the Don has to say then. You know the way, right, Cal? Hey, wait. He's not the kind of person you can just meet. I don't really know if... Please? Union headquarters is in the north part of town. Jeez. Jeez. It sounds so gloomy. It's so... It's like the... Yeah, like uh, like, uh, like, uh, what, like a generic insult I would call him. Hmm. There's probably nothing here, but I'm just gonna come here just to see if there's any census items. Uh, no. Hmm. <laughs> I don't even know why I came here. Oh, medium bag. Probably. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Let's see if there's anything new. I, I doubt it, but. 
Ah, oh, of course there has to be new weapons when um, as soon as I get one uh, one earlier, yeah, of course. Oh, oh boy. Oh. Yep, of course there had to be. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, at least I remember to do that. Okay. I think I can probably hold off from the other one. As you can see it also changes Rita's book too. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here, and I'll see you next week for Let's Play Tales of Xperia. Ah, blah, too many, too many cutscenes wipe you out. I swear. Wait, I need a wait. Wait, what button? Is it? Okay, there we go.